Well, one of the last calls you want to make is to 911 for a life threatening emergency. But if you do, you likely want a warm, compassionate person ready and prepared to serve your needs. No matter the emergency, Ashley Dunn is suited up and ready for duty. 10 years on the job and the job is still just as wild as day one. No two days in EMS are ever the same. Ashley Dunn is a quality compliance specialist and senior paramedic with Guilford County EMS. This is that machine like on TV that says clear and somebody shot somebody. Our call volume has increased exponentially. So part of my job that I really enjoyed that I fell into a couple years ago was supporting those providers to make sure that they have the stuff that they need to provide help to people in the community. But some days she's out and about responding to calls, and those days are busy. It could be, you know, a heart attack in the morning. We can help somebody's grandma off, off the floor by lunch, and we could be delivering a baby by the afternoon. You heard that right. Dunn says she's delivered three babies on the job. With tech advancements, crews can tackle a lot of problems right from the back of the truck. While we're in the, working in the back of the ambulance, we are working. So we're starting IVs, we're giving you medication. Calls like heart attacks and strokes, where it's that time is muscle. So the more time that we use, the more time that we take, that muscle is dying because it's not getting the blood flow it needs. Then this machine, I can just put it directly onto their chest in the right location. And then I just hit play and it automatically measures how far it should go, and then how fast it can go. Dunn says it's like a doctor's office in a box. If you want to do health care, you don't have to always go to be a doctor or a nurse. This is really the first response, which is key to get patients into the doctor, into the hospitals. Um, so I think I really like to educate people to do that, and that's kind of what makes me, it keeps me going. Now, thank God I've not been in an EMS, but what I have observed from watching all my hospital shows is that a lot of the technology they had in there is new. Mm -hmm. You know, you saw some of the resources that they had, and one of the most amazing things I thought was that digital uh, programming where you could see your heart rate, that they directly sent to the hospital they're going to. So once you arrive oh, there, wow, they, they already changes. have the information. So it's not like, you know, they have to reset you up and figure everything out. It goes directly to them. They can program it and everything. I'm like, that's amazing. That is awesome. So you're going straight into surgery or whatever it is yep. that you need. Oh, that's awesome. I can't. That Talk about a stressful job. To, to have to be the first line mm -hmm. of defense when someone, you have to make those quick assessments on the way to the hospital so the doctors know what to do when you get there. Like that's, I don't know if I can handle that You're the lifeline. You're literally you the first line of defense. And like you were saying, you need someone who's nurturing and caring yes. and someone who genuinely wants to figure out whatever they need to do possible to save someone's life. True. Yeah. And you talk about the stress. I mean, I, I think about going back to the height of the pandemic when, you know, we were giving all the love to the doctors and the nurses and uh -huh. the hospital staff, but it's really the EMTs yes. who are the first person mm -hmm. on the scene dealing with a COVID patient who needs to go to the hospital. I mean, and they don't know what they're walking into half the time. And I have a friend who's an emergency room doctor he said the the better EMTs really honestly save lives every day mm -hmm. because he said when, we, when they bring them into us if we if you've misdiagnosed what was mm -hmm. going on we have to sift through all that and figure it out it's serious and, and the fact that she's delivered three babies yes. they're you know doing compressions and wow. all that kind of stuff I asked you like you know how what kind of education do you need to do that and what is it like two three years I don't know the exact timing of it but I do know that she's came here for college mm -hmm. and then never left she's been on the road yeah. of learning and educating and not only educating people at home but educating police officers and Pretty firefighters good. they send that knowledge everywhere it's a great profession yeah, nice story. <laughs>